what's up babes welcome back to my channel my name is Maya and this is your very first time here so obviously we got a little change of scenery today we are gonna be doing a Zara try on haul I went to Zara um, last weekend I went to Chicago to visit my family and I went shopping because my girlfriends and I are actually going out of town tonight and I bought a few pieces and I wanted to show to you guys it's a mini haul I didn't get that many things but since it is a minimal amount of clothing we are gonna be doing a six month BBL update I'm gonna just give y'all an update show y'all the body and just you know give y'all a little spiel of how things have been these past six months before we hop into it please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up all right loves let's hop into it first of all as a disclaimer if you do not agree with bbl surgery or even if you do agree but you still got your little extra opinions please exit left now this is a positive space i'm very very open with what i've been going through because i know there's a lot of women that are thinking about getting this done or have got it done and they want the information so if you got some negatives to say <laughs> this is not the place please leave thank you management <laughs> so if you're unaware of this surgery or unaware that I got it done, pretty much what I got done was 360 lipo, which took fat from my entire back, my abdomen, my love handles. I also added my arms and it was a fat transfer to my butt and my hips. I got this done on February the 2nd of 2021 and my doctor was Dr. Jonathan Fisher, who does have a private practice in Miami, Florida, and his practice is called Unique Aesthetic Center. It was just a great experience. My three best friends from high school who I always hang out with in my vlogs came down with me. My mom also came for a few days as well to be there doing the surgery and to help me a few days after. I was there for a week. It was the best experience ever and it's all in my vlog. So make sure y'all check that out if you have not yet. As of, I believe Monday, I am officially six months post up. So I am heal baby. <laughs> <laughs> they say that it takes about six months for you to heal completely and I just hit that six month mark and I am feeling good. So before we get into any of the nitty gritty of stuff, um, I am going to go ahead and pop my body right here on the screen so that you guys can see how we are looking. I am going to wear this white two piece set real quick because it's not super, super compressing and it really fits form fitting to my body to show you guys. But then later on, we are going to switch to a green dress and compare it to before um, right after surgery and now so that you guys can see the progression of how the body looks at the time of surgery I did weigh 175 pounds I am 5'7 and I will put my before measurements right here on the screen but my after measurements um in the bust area I am a 32 I want to say that's a 32 and a half around my waist I am a 27 and a half and then around my hips I am a 44 so since surgery I have noticed a little bit of some change which is good because you got to trust that process but this is pretty much my end result now, which I think looks super, super natural. That is what I wanted. Dr. Jonathan Fisher is a very, very safe doctor safe safe baby because <laughs> and overall it was a great experience i talked about this more deep in detail in my q a so like i said make sure you guys check that out but this is just an update as far as the healing process i did wear my faha y'all know i had to wear a faha um i did transfer to a stage two faha which was a lot tighter it took me the first day girl it took me a good, like 30 minutes to get into that thing but now um which i don't wear, really wear it now but Eventually, it took a couple minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> I got that from Tributo and it was a custom Faha. But I did wear my Faha for three months. Dr. Fisher recommended that I wear it, that we wear it for three months um, and then stop it, try to ease off of it. So I think at about six weeks, or eight weeks, I started to wear it half the day instead of 23-7. So at three months, I completely stopped. Um, it was very weird at first because the lipo has a long healing process. So you go through burning stages, you go through itching stages, uh, up until about month four, you feel very weird and numb in the areas where you got lipo. For me, it was mostly my stomach versus my back, but it was just weird. And it was for my arms as well. All of that is gone now. Like I said, that started to fade away around month four and it wasn't constant, but I remember going through this once, like two, three weeks where every time I sat down and got back up, I had this like pulling feeling in my back and it was, it was a burning feeling as well. And that was the worst 
that I feel like was the worst experience of me like healing in general. I finally do feel back to normal. Nothing feels numb, nothing feels weird. Everything feels back to normal. So that's the lipo healing. As far as my butts and my hips healing, they were super, super hard at first. When I first got them done, it was hard as a rock, baby. Super uncomfortable to sit down. The feeling feels like you've done a thousand squats, like internally, but when you touch it, it was rock, rock hard. It took a while, about three weeks for the fat to settle in and at three weeks my doctor said that's when you can sit down I started to sit right on my butt at three weeks um, a lot of girls do like the BBO pillow which is a pillow that you sit underneath your legs and that can cause blood clots and we don't need no risk of nothing else medical bad happening you know what I'm saying so I did not do that it was extremely uncomfortable to sit at first but slowly but surely it started to get better you just gotta like get through it and then slowly start to make it more and more and more as it gets more comfortable. I would say after that three weeks, it took about another three to four weeks for me to feel normal sitting. I did not start sleeping on my back and my side then. I was a little, it's different between sitting for an hour and laying on your butt for eight hours, you know? So I was a little scared about that. We, we ain't gonna do that. No, we didn't do that. But I did, um, <laughs> I did start maybe around like month three, around the time where I took my faha off. I would slowly do, I would do it a little bit each night, a little bit each night. Now I am sleeping like that, but we're gonna talk about that in a little bit because some things have changed from what I was used to. <laughs> <laughs> but when I did sit at three weeks, I did not lose any volume. My butt did not get smaller. None of that happened to me. It still was the same size. You know, I think I lost like an inch from surgery, but that was just a swelling going down and everything has been the same. Nothing's flat, you know, didn't just pop out to the sides. Everything was normal from sitting. I feel like that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else I can say. As far as my scars are concerned, I will go ahead and pop up my scars up here. I do have a scar right in the middle of my back. On the back, there is two marks above my butt where they inserted the fat and two marks below my butt where they inserted the fat and then on the front I do have two scars on both sides and both of those are where they took that out of my stomach those are healing okay I do plan on doing some laser like pigmentation treatments um, to do that cuz I'm already doing that for my back because I do have very extreme hyperpigmentation on my back so I am just starting to do those treatments especially since y'all know my girlfriend Devin is an esthetician now so she is hooking a sister up. So real quick, I pop on the screen three different videos. The one to your left is before surgery. This is what my body was looking like before surgery and this is all the same dress. In the middle is right after surgery, probably about I think like two days after surgery. And then the one all the way on the right is me now. This is how the body has changed. Everything has relaxed a little bit. My midsection obviously is a whole lot smaller. I know you see the before and the after. It is a major difference. And for me, it's a huge confident boost. And y'all know I'm not the type of person who got this surgery for a huge booty. So I feel like my butt is a perfect nice size for my body. I feel like it looks natural, meaning that it looks like I could have been born with this. You know, it doesn't look like I'm surgeried up, you know? And I love it. I love that it changed the shape of my body and it just put things where I would prefer them to be for me. Lastly, for this update, y'all, I do have a whole little list to make sure I got everything. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, I'm just gonna talk about some things that I did not know or some things that I did not like or I don't regret it at all. This is probably the best decision I've made in my life. So, <laughs> one thing is my lipo, I believe it's uneven. On one side, I believe that my, my not my love handles, like my bra roll is a little bigger than the other one. At first I thought it was swelling, but after a while I was like, yeah, one side is still is bigger than the other one. <laughs> it's not a huge deal, but you know, it's like, you pay that much money for something, you want it to be together. I definitely have noticed that that's uneven, but it's not really noticeable if I don't tell you, you know? Also, I somewhat regret getting my arms light bulb and I somewhat reg don't regret it. I don't regret it because my arms is where I hold a lot of my weight, my arms and my back. So as I lose and gain weight in the proportion of getting this surgery, I didn't want all of my weight to go to my arms. Cause they say your weight will more than likely start to collect in other places that did not get lipo. So for that reason, I'm happy I got my arms. I'm not happy I got my arms because number one, they did not take out in the place where I would have liked for them to take out. And that was like a streamlined thing. I don't think I could have like chosen, hey, you take it out in the front instead of the back, you know? <laughs> Um, and then also, I don't know, there's no difference. I feel like my arms look the same and my, I do not, I have not experienced a huge change in weight. I weigh 172 now. It's a three pound difference from surgery. So it's like, 
I don't see no difference, so. But also I might be looking in the wrong place because I still have the areas where I really was insecure about my arms, that's still there. It was down here where they took out and maybe, you know, it wasn't really hanging before, so I don't know. Girl, don't mind me. Anyway. <laughs> The last thing that I feel like is weird that I wasn't expecting is sleeping. Y'all, why you ain't telling me people with a big booty have sleeping issues like sleeping on your back? I started to sleep on my back and I noticed that my back would start to hurt my lower back because there's that dip. Like here's my back and then there's a dip and then my booty. It's like laying and this is the bed. So that lower back area would start to really, really hurt. So now, to sleep on my back, even though I'm fully healed, I have to put a pillow underneath my back, right at the tip of my butt. That way everything is kind of leveled off so my back isn't like going downwards. I do have to sleep like that. I also still sleep when I sleep on my sides. I sleep with a pillow underneath like my stomach area. Not only do I feel like that helps to contour me for the morning, <laughs> but um, it's just more comfortable than laying just flat. And those are issues that I was not expecting. Not that it's an issue, cause it's kind of a good issue to have, but I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> also, I am about to make good friends with a tailor because um, number one, most of my clothes I can get into now, but that back, that them pants in the back, girl, just all the way just, gapping okay i do need to get some clothes tailored but i'm kind of waiting to get my body to exactly where i want it to be before i start tailoring my clothes to my body i feel like that is it for the um update also real quick just a little a little something extra my booty just shake baby it moves so we gonna do a little <laughs> <laughs> shaking on the side just to show you that you know the booty is not firm anymore it is very much jiggly you can twerk if that's your thing not my thing but i'm really just showing y'all to show you that she moves baby she's natural it's my fat it's just moved somewhere else it's like moving your money from your check into your savings you know what i'm saying <laughs> And I am happy. So if there's any extra questions you guys have, go ahead and leave them in the description box. I will make sure that I check them out and answer them. Uh, when you guys are seeing this, I am still out of town. So give me about 24 hours to get to those comments. Cause I get back Sunday night. And yeah y'all, well, let's go ahead and hop into this try on haul. All right y'all, so I do have a few pieces from Zara that I picked up from Chicago. I'm just gonna try on a few outfits. We only got like three or four different outfits, so I'm gonna try one because first of all, I don't know why the lines of Zara are always so freaking long. I was unable to try things on. So I say that to say, there are definitely some things that I can't fit. <laughs> so unfortunately, we just gonna try our best. So let's get the first outfit. <laughs> so the first outfit is this beautiful dress. The print of it caught my eye when I saw it in the store and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's a really cute, like sophisticated brunch type of outfit. You know, give me a second. I'm trying to make sure I got it together. <laughs> but it does tie right here. So you just tie this right here and it just that just brings it together because first it's looking a little frumpy you know but i love this dress this is actually my first time trying it on and seeing it like on on i just feel like it's very sophisticated you know it's giving brunch it's giving sophistication <laughs> and i love it it does need a little bit of an iron probably but um, I did get this in a size medium. I feel like this is not gonna be everybody's style, but I like it. I have been super, super weird about the new trends of like more abstract and like prints like this. It takes a very special piece for me to actually like it. And this one I actually do like. Maybe because it is a button down and it is giving grown woman versus, you know, very trendy-ish. And the fact that it's short too kind of makes it more like, you know, doing what it's supposed to do, giving what it's supposed to give, you know? And y'all don't mind my ratchet ponytail. It probably looks a mess, girl. Mm. I do love this dress. First of all, let me just say, getting this shirt on without getting makeup on it just now was a struggle. I'm tired. <laughs> but I do love this top and these shorts. Both of these are in a medium. And the shorts are actually got in pants form as well. I love the detail on these shorts. They have this really cute like pleated, faux pleated detail on it. And I think that's super cute. And the reason why I really went for it is because I feel like, is this a zipper? 
y'all know that's not y'all i was struggling to put this on and it's got a zipper on it lord what wait a minute child this got a zipper on it this zips all the way up i ain't even gonna do it right now but anyway <laughs> the reason why i got these shorts is because it had that detail and it looks like it wasn't gonna give me that gap i was just talking about above my butt and it doesn't i love it so i did buy it in pants too i really wish i would have gotten it in more colors the pants they had in so many colors and i'm gonna try the pants on here in a moment but i love this girl this is super cute i love how this makes my body look this is definitely an outfit i'm wearing this weekend i'm probably gonna be hot i'm probably gonna be sweating in this but you know it's cute so that's all that matters and i feel like it looks sophisticated too y'all know i have a thing about looking sophisticated so i really like this all right y'all so this skirt i cannot lie is probably my favorite purchase of this haul I love this skirt. Y'all see this detail on this skirt? First of all, I'm a little too thick for it. I wish I would've got a large, cause this is a medium and they already popped off once. <laughs> when I tried it on, girl, I'm just gonna be honest with you, but I fixed it. <laughs> but baby, this is getting worn. Even if I gotta fix it multiple times throughout the night, this is getting worn this weekend. It definitely helps my back, so I'm not having that issue that I've been experiencing above my butt, but I, love this skirt this is cute it's definitely giving vacation but sexy you know with the law yeah that's cute so this week i did post a reel on instagram it's like a little fashion reel and i did wear this shirt i actually had on a bra with it that time but for some reason i just took my bra off before i put this on and i didn't feel like putting it back on so check out that reel if you want to see how it looks with the bra but i love this top and then these pants y'all it's the detail these are the pants version of the shorts that I had on. And it is just the details for me. I love this. And then this pocket, which is a faux pocket. Is it a faux pocket? Oh no, it's not. It is an actual pocket, I think. But either way, I'm not gonna make it a pocket. But it's super, super, super duper cute. I'm definitely in love with this outfit and this might get worn. Especially the top though, especially the top. So I got a couple basic button downs. Y'all know I love a good white button down. So I bought this button down. Um, I have so many white button downs, but I do like the quality of this one. It's a little wrinkled, so my business. But this is a cute little top. Oh my God, did y'all hear my stomach? I need to eat. <laughs> You guys know that usually I do like to tie these up, especially in the summertime. So more than likely, this would be a tied up type of situation. Very cute, very chic, very effortlessly cool. I absolutely love the look of just a tied up white button down. It's like my go-to like outfit. That's that top. And then we also have a green top that I'll go ahead and switch into here. This one I actually did wear in Chicago um, on Sunday. Um, I wore it to brunch with my family. But I did tie it at the waist as well. You know, I just love like button downs with a tie. I just love it. I don't know. I feel like it's very much my style. It's one of the staples for me in my wardrobe. I have so many button downs and I just love to even put it over something that's sleeveless and tie it up or just, you know, wear it even if it's not over something. I just, I don't know. It's just a vibe for me. I just feel like it's a very 30 something vibe, you know? <laughs> I just love the button downs. It is my thing, sis. It's my thing. So this is a dress that in the store, I very much knew I was gonna have issues getting into. <laughs> Cause it's a medium and it was so like not stretchy material, but they didn't have a large. And I was like, we gotta make something work. It zipped up on me yesterday. Today is not zipping up because I'm bloated. So um, yeah, y'all, it's a cute dress. So I'm actually gonna put this blazer over it, which I picked up at Zara as well. And you guys know, I have the white version of this blazer with the button right here that I wear literally all the time. But yeah, um, with the blazer on, you can't tell it's too small. <laughs> Child, please, look. I just love this together though. I just feel like the blazer makes it a lot more classier because it is a shorter black dress and it has a cutout in the stomach and it shows a little cleavage. I'm all about balance and I feel like the blazer kind of gives it some balance, gives it some shape to the shoulders, gives it a nice little silhouette. This with my bow tie is, baby. Yes, that's, that would be so cute. 
<laughs> so we got one more set. First of all, we got two different things that I can't think. So this white top, first of all, I don't know why I picked this white top up. I don't know why I thought this was cute, but on girl, it looks a mess. So, and I look, you can't fit this a small and the shoulders just don't go out as far as they're supposed to if it was my size. So we ain't trying that on. And I'm probably gonna give that away. <laughs> I also got this set, y'all. Now the pants, I can fit, and here's the bra. But baby, this ain't fitting on me. They're both a medium, but this this ain't fitting on me. It does have a zipper on the side, but I can't even pull it over. I can pull it over my head, but I have worries of whether or not I'm be able to get it off. Is the problem. So the pants are super duper cute though. So um, I'm not gonna try them on now, but I might end up wearing this if I can find something to pair it with this weekend. That would be super, super cute. But I'm giving this away to my brand because no. Nah. All right, love, so that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed the try on haul, even though it was many. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> also, I hope that you guys enjoyed the six month BBL update. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know which outfit was your fave, which piece was your fave, or if you have any questions about the BBL. Also, make sure you hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.